Hi guys, how's it going? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California in Six Rivers National Forest. It's fun to say. Um, I am back to the circus book today. Patreons, you got your first video on um, journal with me and that's basically working on putting the journal together. It's kind of a quick and easy um, art journal process and uh, I can definitely see making some variations of that in the future. It's pretty cool. It was fun to do. So that you um, have uploaded today. And maybe I will be able to get this up also. Um, I would like to do another subscriber drive. I would like to get to 700. What do you guys think? Um, here's what I'm thinking as far as um, the subscriber drive this time. It was a lot to keep a track of last time, but uh, so I'm going to do it differently this time. In order to get one point, you must like, comment, share, and add to a playlist on your YouTube. So that's all one point. If you post an image of artwork that you're working on, on the Messy Hand Band of Artists group, you get a point. You get one point per day if you um, share your artwork with us. and. I really want to start an art conversation. So this is um, a great way to do it. And then also on um, March 14th, I will um, put everyone who's currently in Patreon, you will get three extra points. So this is a point system. The first, uh, the person with the most points will get the first prize. Now here's, here's a bonus, right? I think last time we did this, we um, got over 125, I think. So per 50, um, I it off. per 50, so the, f the first goal is 700. If we get to 750, I'm going to put a second prize. If we get to 800, I'm going to put in a third prize. Um, the same person won't get the one. There will be three separate prizes per 50. I'll go four, five, six. I mean, if we can get up to, you know, 300, there will be six people that will get a prize. I'm not exactly sure what the prize is yet, uh, but you guys know my prizes are pretty dang good. And uh, I will make it worth your time. You will get something beautiful handmade from me. All right. So, um, yeah, per 50, I'll add another prize in. The top point winners will get um, their, uh, if, if there's ties within the point winners, uh, then those names go into the drawing. So um, Kat is going to be tracking a lot of it for me. Um, she'll be uh, tracking the comments and the shares on the playlist. And then um, she's also going to be tracking the Messy Hand Band of Artists. And she has volunteered to do this for me out of the goodness of her heart. That is a pretty amazing and uh, a shout out to Kat for helping with all of this because the tracking part is really time consuming. But this should simplify it. Um, you know, everybody who comments, likes, shares, and adds to a playlist on their YouTube will get a point. If you are a Patreon, you get three points on the 14th of March. Anybody who's a Patreon on the 14th of March gets three more points. And if you post in the Messy Hand Band of Artists, any piece of artwork, I don't care if it's inspired by another artist. Um, I don't really want you to be promoting other YouTube artists on my page, but I don't care if you're doing work that is inspired by somebody else. That doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, but you know, just be respectful, you know, as, as would be required of you if you were commenting on other people's pages. Okay. Um, and I really love the outpouring of support that everybody is showing for the people posting in Messy Hands. I think that's really, really cool. Um, Kat has also volunteered to do an ATC exchange while I'm gone. So I will be gone from March 26th to April 16th, something like that, 25th maybe. So um, it's, it's going to be a while there where there's not going to be a whole lot of activity. I'm going to try to upload photos from Europe, but I know that that's 
Uh, if I'm not using the Wi-Fi, it can be really expensive. So we'll see what I can do. I, I don't have any promises on that. Um, but we will work on that project uh, probably around the 10th or the, yeah, because we'll probably um, enter the names on the 15th. And again, we'll exchange with three people. I'm planning to do um, four sheets. So I will be prepared for up to 48 people to do the card exchange. So you will exchange with me and then you will exchange with um, three other people. Just like we did for Valentine's. So the cool thing is, is that when I get home, I'll have all of these gorgeous ATC cards and I can't wait. That's so much fun. And then I'll do open them again on um, online. Kind of fun idea. Um, that again is going to be a March project and um, mid-March. What else was I thinking of? I'm going to try to post a video a day. It's really hard. It's really time consuming. I lost my computer yesterday. It's a big desktop. It didn't run away. It, uh, it seized up and I had to go and buy a new computer yesterday in Eureka. Had to make an emergency trip down there. Um, and then of course had to spend all the time to luckily, here's the luckiest thing about it. I've had to store for a very long time. I've had to store all of my, um, artwork and documents, most of my documents on an external hard drive. So I didn't lose all of my art images. If I would have had that happen, I would have been extremely devastated. However, I did lose my Patreon address list. So guys, I'm going to try, uh, hopefully, because I've deleted all your emails now, because I had them all. So hopefully through Patreon, uh, through our um, message exchange, I can get them that way. If I ping you again for your address, forgive me. I did lose it, uh, and I'm hoping I didn't lose too much else. It's been a very, very, very expensive month. Uh, February. Oh, yeah, that was the last day of February. I don't need another February. Oh, my God. Happy birthday to Kat. Kat Austin had her birthday. Woohoo! Love you, girl. Um, and Shaney had her... Sh Shane, I hope I'm saying your name right, honey. I'm sorry. Uh, she had a birthday recently, too. Yay! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Um, so what are we doing today? <laughs> circus book. Circus book. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to post videos. I explain the drawing. Um, and I'll put all the rules in there um, so that uh, they're clear. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a video a day. I'm going to really try, but if I keep them shorter, I'll probably have better luck with uploading. So adventures, adventures, adventures. Um, okay. So this video is getting it put into the book. This included a major operation right here. Um, a new book cover, something kind of fun and wild. Um, this, Layout is still not finished, but it's getting closer. I thought I was going to have to recut things out, but it ends up that if I just um, refold things differently, that I didn't need to completely dissect it and rebuild it again. Thank God. Thank God. All right. Well, that's enough yakking from me. Lots of updates for March. Patreons, I am going to do um, uh, an actual journal with me, and we're going to play in our journals. I'm really looking forward to just having some free expression art time that, you know, on things that will just take, you know, an hour or two to do instead of getting into these really labor, labor intensive things. Um, I've already got a couple ideas for my last two layouts. Well, actually I've got front page still, I've got the cover still. I've got this guy here before we lead into this. I've got a really fun thing uh, in my brain for this next section. And then I'm actually thinking here of, uh, some fun doors. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I'm going to try to push through and get circus book finished up in the next, uh, two weeks. So I've got a lot to do. Um, please be patient with me. Uh, I do have a brand new dog that is very time consuming. He is likely a Belgian Malinois mixed with German Shepherd, and that is a very, very highly active dog. So uh, I didn't expect to have a dog that I would need to walk. 
um, it, it's not the walking him three times a day, it's walking him for a mile or two each of those times and letting him just really run as hard as he can. Um, he's doing very good. Uh, he's a little aggressive with other dogs, so we've got a lot of work to do. And I also need to do some research on how to train um, such a high-powered and intelligent animal. Uh, he's a good boy, but I was not expecting a, a Belgian Malinois. And if you just YouTube in <laughs> that name, you'll see some really amazing, they're, they're uh, military and police dogs. So I've got to be really careful with him, so I've got to spend time. Um, you know, I haven't worked on the book for 10 days, but I have posted four videos in the last 10 days. So, you know, guys, you got to cut me a little bit of a break here. I'm trying to be Wonder Woman, but I can't always do it. Okay. All right. Um, Patreon, uh, patreon.com, Stephanie Ani Designs. Please come join us. We will do a drawing uh, for Patreon uh, probably around the 25th of one of the projects that we do. I am doing, I'm going to do something fun this time. I've been collecting sticks and fun things. So, um, and, uh, Patreon people too. I have one of these to send out already. Thank you so much for joining. And then I have uh, four more Piccolate left. And then I'll have to make some more of these too. Or something else to give as a gift. These are kind of a limited edition. So um, I think there were, what, 22 of those? Not really positive. I will get uh, uh, Amy's out to her tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, I did receive the last two of the Valentine's. Uh, for the Valentine's Seraphine. They were gorgeous. Um, it was from uh, Lori and from Pita. Yay! And I will be adding that to my Valentine's Seraphine. However, with the ATC exchange, I'm just going to continue to build on it and we're going to, I'm just going to make one big beautiful piece of art that kind of will uh, graduate over time. You know, so I'll have Valentine's here and then with this next one I'll go around the outer edges and then I'll just keep kind of building. So since Valentine's was kind of predominantly red, it'll be really interesting to see if I can get a really beautiful um, color flow. Cool stuff, huh? Lots of things happening. March is going to be a busy month. It's going to be insane. I also have to do some serious research and buy some museum tickets so that I can go to the uh, to the Louvre and the Museum d'Orsay and to go to uh, Monet's Gardens. In fact, I wonder if I have to reserve for that. Um, okay, so I'm going to try for 15 days of art starting with today, but I'm also going to be posting extra videos on Patreon. Be patient with me. I might not be able to get to all of them. I am going to try. All right, guys, love you bunches. I'll think about the extra three points. I might just give an extra single point, um, but eh. You know, you guys are supporting me, so, um, you know, I, I very much so appreciate that um, you find value in what I do and in um, the information that I give you. Thank you so very much. Um, and thank you, everybody else who's watching and sharing and commenting and being positive in my life. I need positive because I have some crappy luck. All right, my friends, we will chat soon. And here's putting the circus book in the book. It's an operation. I cut open the book. I seriously do. Cut it open and reconstruct. It was scary, but it worked. Okay. Chat later. Bye. Hello artists, how are you? Stephanie coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River once again. So this definitely is going to take some tweaking in order to get it to work correctly. Some of it is not going to be favorable because I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, make this not flip over the top and make it instead to sit down there. And this just sit down here. And then this is going to have to come in like this and like this. 
in order to go like that. Well, that worked. Maybe I don't have to go through and modify everything. It's going to be bigger than the book is the one issue that I feel is there with that. It's uh, much more compact this way. Uh, which is, of course, what we need to do. Figure out how to make it as compact as possible for when we put it into the book. Um, truthfully, these pages are probably going to get glued into pages. So that way I could adjust these flaps. So let's look at the book here real quick and see what we've got. So it's, it's definitely larger than the other pieces, right? Um, but I don't know if that makes a difference. So what we'll do is we'll try to put it into the book first. I've got a lot of um, additional construction that I want to do with this. And um, the exciting stuff will be coming. I promise. I promise. It's going to be good. Okay. So to get this piece in here. Now, what do we have here? I want to make this a super thick page, so I'm actually going to take my Fabri-Tac because I know that this is a super strong glue and it's clogged up right now. Oh. I'm going to put it into that seam. I'm going to put it all the way around here. Now, I could also put a piece of fabric on there, I suppose, or something like that. But this should, this should keep this... I'm going to be gluing this to the back of this page. We will be splitting this book down the center. We will have something that we need to do here. Right. So this is actually four pages right here. Okay. This is nice and strong. This is nice and strong. This is all together. I do kind of want to do one more layout in the book. Be nice if I chose something easy to do, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't often choose easy things, huh? Uh, like never. Oh, hold on though. I could do some sort of door back in here. Door, drawer. Could do something back in that back to make that super strong. And then do the one other layout that I want to do here. Okay. So. This is always scary. Let's take two signatures out, just to kind of start off with here. no fun to watch me pick this out. Okay, I'm 
actually not going to bother with it any further because I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut it open again, guys. I'm going to cut it closer to this edge than this edge. I want to make sure that I've left enough space there for this to have um, some good glue on there. It's terrifying. Yes, it is. Absolutely terrifying. This is going to be the last really large addition to this book, though. So. So we've given it plenty of space. Now, this is all done really well here. We're going to take this piece and put it on here. We're going to put it on flat. There. I am going to put a natural curve to it, probably like that. See what we got? We're sandwiching. And I'm going to use the strongest glue I have to do this. And I'm putting a gob into here. Hopefully that's not the wrong thing to do. And I'm going to stand up the book and then put the two pieces together because I want it to sit flush with the bottom so that it sits nicely. All right. Don't be stingy. Uh, we know that this sometimes doesn't like to stick very well, especially against that um, gaffer's tape. Let's move this guy out of the way. Push this down. it to where we want it to be. Lining it up. And putting pressure on it. All right, I'm going to let that sit for just a couple seconds, and we'll come back. Okay. So you guys know I don't know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> no, I'm going to put, this is Mod Podge in here. I'm going to put four pages together again. Maybe five. <clears throat> okay, so now I have five pages glued together. And of course, I'm smart enough to know that this isn't going to hold all of this. So I grabbed another piece of fabric 
that I will be attaching to it. So this is going to go here, right? <laughs> it's a monster and I think if I can make it kind of splay out a little bit more it's going to be beneficial you know, it's going to do what it's going to do but this looks like it got on oh, it's okay did it get crooked on there it did get on there crooked. So it's um not sitting on there quite right. I'm going to put on this back side first and see if I need to adjust it. So again we're gonna take the fabric tack. We're going to put it all over the back of this guy. Knowing that this treatment that's on here won't want to stick very well. So we're just going to really hope that once we get the um, fabric on there with this, that it will all stick together just fine. Okay. So, there we are in back. And let's set it up right so that we can make sure that it's going to dry by stabilizing. And we want that to come up here just a little bit more. Go ahead and smush it. Mm, line that puppy up. It moved on me. Come on, baby. Line up. Yeah, it moved on me. Damn it. Doesn't feel like it's level at all. Just compared to here. It's a monstrosity. Okay, we'll come back. So I have this pink fabric, which I do really don't have any affection for. It has more of a tropical feel to it. I mean, I can still make lines out of it and strips out of it, which I will absolutely do. I found some seam binding that will give us some interesting texture. 
but I think I actually like this one better. It's going to be easier to vintage. When this one we vintage, it's going to go very dark very quickly. So I'm not going to use the red. Although we know that it's the right color for the book. Um, we know that this one makes a beautiful cover. Um, let's see here if I can get it to tear the right direction though. Hmm. Oh, it's had some weird pieces taken out of it. <laughs> Don't knock things over, please. Okay, that would be taking a chunk right out of the middle of it. But I guess that's actually what I'm going to do here. Being difficult. Oh, yeah, that gives us some serious string, doesn't it? Okay, so, um, We're just going to go from uh, top to top here. And yes, that does have enough to wrap around. And then the top down here. Top, where did I make that cut? This, we're going to make some sort of collage with this. I'm envisioning these stripes. I'm envisioning map, I'm envisioning travel, I'm envisioning the train, all these different possibilities, right? So hopefully, hopefully this is drying properly. Looks like it's doing okay. So I'm just going to put you guys on fast forward and I'm going to glue this on here. I'm going to be sure to get every single crack and crevice that I can. And uh, this does need to be done right away because this is struct structurally very um, hard on the book. So I want to get the book back together as tight as possible as soon as possible. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 